The reason why I say that many members who are struggling to remain awake, the president did not indicate what he wants to do to reduce cost of living. If you look at fuel global prices, fuel has reduced by 5.68%. The president, Madam Speaker, never mentioned about fuel. When he was being elected, he was elected on a premise to lower the cost of living and more so fuel. The president was mute on this, Madam Speaker. Number two, the president never said anything about how to ensure electricity connectivity in all the villages. Madam Speaker, so many villages are really crying to have connectivity of electricity considering the taxpayers. The president never said anything on this. Number three, the president talked about job creation, Madam Speaker. He did not specify on ethnic distribution when it comes to job creation. Recently, we saw recruit in KRA, 57% going to two tribes. Madam Speaker, we expect the president to explain to Kenyans on job creation who are the people benefited ethnically on job creation. Number four, the president never indicated meaningfully what he wants Wait, to do. Wait, honorable member, what to is on order? Stage. Honorable member for Thika. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker. Is it in order for the member to stand here and say that the jobs goes to two tribes? Which jobs goes to two tribes? Allow and me, which two tribes? Allow me to respond to, my, to uh, the... And you give us evidence. Allow me to respond to Honorable Member Fodika. She doesn't seem to be informed. Yeah. And I want to inform her today. If she reads dailies, the national newspapers, the new recruits for KRA, it was clear mentioned that 57 of the new recruits went to two tribes. I don't appear, I don't want to appear as an ethnic biased person. Therefore, I may not need to specify which, who are these two tribes, but it was public domain. So I refer the honorable member to read and appraise herself. Honorable Kawanjiko, what is out of order? Thank you, Madam Speaker. And uh, as we appreciate whatever MP Foyata is trying to say, we, we also need to make it clear that this is a house of record, Madam Speaker. And the moment that you say that uh, the job opportunities went to two tribes, the member for Yata should be able to substantiate and say that this and this tribe, depending on whichever records that he has, that the position went to the only two tribes. So it's not in order for him to make lies in front of this house, Madam Speaker. You know, they are intercepting my speech. Order, Honorable Basil. Order. Honorable members, and this is just for the guidance of every member, including you, Honorable Member Foyata, responsibility of statement of fact, standing order 91, a member shall be responsible for the accuracy of any facts which the member alleges to be true and may be required to substantiate. Kindly, let us adhere to our own standing orders. Let us also be guided that newspapers are not, are not sources of information which are admissible in this House. So let us be careful as we debate, Honorable Basil. Thank you, thank you, Madam Speaker. I also want to make reference on this house. The issue of job distribution was debated when the CS for Treasury was here, uh, Professor Juguna. He actually did acknowledge about that, and it's only that I did not get the actual record, but it was discussed on this house. The answer is clear, and the information can be retrieved. I even have a pending question which is supposed to be brought on the floor on the same Honorable issue. member, do not refer to pending questions that have not been discussed in this Yeah, floor. but that issue was already they discussed not, on the floor. They are not a record yet of the House. That issue was already discussed. Anyway, let me proceed with my speech. If you intend to get this, we can always share. Now, on the, my fourth point, the President did not mention on what the government intends to do to revise the balance of trend. Currently, we are importing more than we are. Your time is up. 
I could not, I will not give you one more minute. Honorable Basile, you are notorious also interfering with other members, and I did not add them five, five even on their five minutes. Next chance will go to the member for South Menti, Honorable Shadrach Mwiti. Thank you, Madam Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to contribute to the presidential